kwa wanafunzi wa chuo kikuu cha Nairobi kupitia kiongozi wao ametoa ilani ya kwamba kutakuwa na maandamano ambayo yanapangwa kufanyika kuanzia Jumatatu tarehe 20 mwezi Septemba mwaka huu kwa madai ya kuongezewa karo ya chuo hicho. Ripota wetu David Kasembeli amevalia njuga taarifa hiyo na kutupasha yafuatayo baada ya kuongea na viongozi hao wa wanafunzi. Wanafunzi wa chuo kikuu cha Nairobi wanapanga kuanzisha mgomo siku ya Jumatatu wiki ijayo kwa kupandishwa kwa karo katika chuo hicho siku za hivi majuzi. Kulingana na barua ambayo imewekwa sahihi na katibu mkuu wa chama cha wanafunzi cha chuo kikuu cha Nairobi Unsa Kikwai Nathan Kiplangat inaonyesha kwamba mazungumzo kati ya chama cha wanafunzi Unsa na uongozi wa chuo kikuu juu ya nyongeza ya ada ya shule na malipo ya mabweni yalikuwa yameambulia patupu kinyume na hali ya nyuma ya maendeleo hayo nilipata fursa ya kuzungumza na mwenyekiti wa chama cha wanafunzi cha Nairobi Evanda Onyango ambaye amesema kuwa hawana njia nyingine ila kuanza maandamano siku ya Jumatatu Septemba 20 wiki ijayo. Um, asante sana kwa majina naitwa Evanda Onyango mimi ni mwenyekiti wa, wa wanafunzi katika chuo kikuu cha Nairobi. Kuhusu mgomo wetu mgomo upo si haiko kwa tishia lakini ni kuwajulisha tu but uh, mgomo iko na itaendelea vile vile tulisema ni Jumatatu asubuhi baadhi ya kozi ambazo ziliathiriwa ni pamoja na mawasiliano na MBA ambayo wanafunzi wanapaswa kulipa zaidi ya shilingi 1600 kwa mpango wa miaka miwili kutoka shilingi 2275 Aidha Onyango amesema kuwa karo na malipo ya bweni imepanda mara tatu zaidi na ikizingatiwa kuwa mkopo wa elimu wa HELB ulipunguzwa hivi majuzi na kwa sasa ni ngumu kwa mwanafunzi kujikimu na kulipa karo mara tatu zaidi ya malipo ya kawaida. Uh, uh, yetu, ina, ina kuwa, ina kataa kutusikiza sisi kama wanafunzi tumekuja na reforms ama mabadilisho mabadiliko katika chuo mako inaumiza wanafunzi sana na kiini kuu ni fedha wameongeza karo si kuongeza karo tu lakini wameweza kuifanya wameweza kuongeza na kwa mara tatu unapata mtu mtu ambaye alikuwa analipa for example laki moja na 86 sasa anafaa kulipa laki 400 kwa ni wanafunzi wa mhandisi ni mhandisi injinia ukiangalia hiyo difference I, I, I make sense at all because kama ni kuongeza maybe hata wangeongeza wange kitu kidogo kama wangefanya mara dofu lakini kuongeza mara tatu haya ukipita katika sekta ya hostels hapo ambapo mali wanafunzi wanakuwa wanakaa wakiwa shule kitambo nilikuwa nalipa sita saa hii wanataka tulipe tulip, uh, elf uh, 40000 from 640000 that is almost six times the amount you used to pay na sababu kuwa tujui ni nini juu hakuna kitu imeongezeka hawajatengeneza lolote hawajapaka hata rangi hizo manyumba na manyumba ni zetu si zimenuliwa shamba ni ya university so hatuelewi kini kuni actually mbona wanakuja na some kind of radical changes without informing the student leadership ni ambao hao ni sisi sio watu wa kurepresent wanafunzi wetu na ukipata hiyo for example kama sasa hao wanafunzi wanaingia au ya self government sponsored kitambo used to pay 28000 sasa hizi wanao live 59000 na help tunapata ndio lakini help help yenyewe sasa ni 40000 na kwa hiyo help for help 40000 kuna chakula kuna nguo ile ni ndio ni 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 yetu yote. Sio ukeka ukeka school fees 59000 I mean for for the dollar help alipa kutumia help yote na bado kuna deficit yenye ajira toa wapi. So help yenyewe haitoshi. Basi ile yenyewe na days haziko. Sio kesi ya kila mwanafunzi wote. Wanataka kufanya education ikuwe ya ya wabwe yenyewe peke yake jamani nakataa hiyo 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 mwelekeo. Mwenyekiti wa chama cha wanafunzi pia ameongezea kuwa mgomo tu ndio njia pekee ya wao kusikizwa na malalamiko yao kushughulikiwa. Alisema kuwa wamejaribu mazungumzo na naibu chancellor wa chuo hicho lakini alishikilia kuwa lazima wanafunzi walipe karo kwa muda unaostahili. Tumekuwa negotiations. I can even send you a video. Well, the vice president alisema this thing it is the way it is is not going to bend to change anything ndio kuna mambia hatujakataa usiongeze basi basi tuelewane basi tuifanye mdogo mdogo ile yenye unalipa kidogo 
Let's say, come for example, Rafi Gay of Zia to Lipa of Sita, but Sia Lipa of Sang and Gila Polypole and Pocket to Sukepe and Pali. But I make a time, I say, my full stop, that is what he's going for. He will not take anything else. Like I say, what you can threaten, not strike. Ever make a talk to Skiza. It will be a dialogue in the Qatar. The only way in it, strips. Let, let the, now the government come in and help us. Ame msifia naibu chancela wao, akisema kuwa ni mkarimu na maafisa wengine waku katika chuo hicho wanao mpea ushauri, ndiyo wanao mpotosha. Ok, uh, is, a, is, a, is a very good man, so, but then I think the, his advisors now, let's, let's say he always blame to the council, maybe the council is pushing him too much the wall. So this, this pushing makes him now be radical because he wants to also to please the council. So he doesn't need to ask anymore. You know, in every in every institution, there have, have to be secular engagement. That is now is not involving us in anything. He's just doing his things the own way. Maybe it is a, it is a pressure that he's getting from uh, the council. Plus, the university is now at limbo. We have so many debts to pay. Maybe that's the reason why he's making some kind of kind of drastic change. But he has to factor in that it is not our problem as students. It is the, it is them to make the system and make our things work. Katika majadiliano yetu, Evanda Onyango alidokeza kuwa tofauti ya uongozi wao na ule uongozi wa zamani wa babu wa wino wana utofauti mkubwa kwa kuwa wao hupeana wafasi ya majadiliano kabla ya kuandamana. You see with us, as at now, this issue started back in May, in September, that is three months on the line. We have tried so much. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't resolve to shoot fast. We first started board room meetings. We have requested meetings. We have gone to the vice president more than four times. But until now, he has, he has not listened to our plea. Now what else do we do? We are not going to the street to disrupt anything. Actually, we went to the streets to now tell the, 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 the governments to come in and now help us because we are students to Meshindwa. David Kasembeli, Look Up TV, Nairobi.